kind of like it started and didn't start. I'm talking about the video webcam software. Logitech has this Logitech webcam software, and it goes three, two, one, then the red button in the middle of the camera. Anyone who has that software knows what I'm talking about. Everyone else probably doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about. This is uh, another rant. This is, think of this as now my uh, therapy channel. I rant every now and then here. Uh, this is again about Rogers. You may have seen my last video, if you didn't, watch it if you want to, about how I love Rogers Communications. It's just brilliant company. Loves to rate their clients and, uh, yeah, treating their existing com uh, customers that have been with them for decades like shit and treating people who are new, the newcomers, like kings and queens. Make sense? No. I understand that you have to bring people in bring new customers in, but if you don't treat your existing customers as good or if not better than your new customers, guess what's going to happen? You're going to lose your existing customers. Rocket science? No, I don't think so. I think Rogers these days is run by a bunch of monkeys. In any case, I'm, I digress. This rant was actually about the TV which I canceled. I canceled my TV because, well, we don't watch it anymore. The kids usually are on the iPad or they're reading books or they're doing other things like playing outside uh, or playing, doing something else besides watching TV, let's put it that way. Because it's boring. It's the same stuff over and over and over again. We don't watch it, my wife and I, because, well, we get all our news from other you know, in other ways, like for example, my smartphone, I get the news I want to get. I don't want to sit around for for an hour watching commercials and getting, you know, 1% of what I want to hear. So I canceled it completely. So there's a whole rigmarole trying to cancel TV and, you know, they're going to charge me early cancellation crap and, you know, all that crap. Anyway, whatever. I said, go ahead and cancel it. I'll pay it. Goodbye to you, Rogers, um, you know, adios amigos. And uh, I said, you know, canceled, so that's fine. I brought back the, the digital box that I had, uh, the HD box, actually, that I had. And, um, you know, this uh, person from Rogers, or I guess they pay consultants to do their work for them now, uh, came by. It was last week, last Friday, just before the weekend. They sent out a guy to cut the cable from the box in front of my house. They cut the cable. They cut the cable. So guess what? I lost my internet. I don't have internet with Rogers anymore. But internet travels on the coaxial cable. So even though I said to Rogers, Rogers, can you please cancel my TV for me? That's all I wanted. I didn't want them to tell me that I had to owe them fee crap and that they're going to send the guy over and cut my coaxial cable from the box. No, I didn't want that. Just wanted to cancel my TV. So the guy came over, cut, literally cut the feed, the coaxial cable, and left. So I'm my phone doesn't work because I had it on Wi-Fi. Every other, you know, everything in the house, all the computers are like going, oh my gosh, and people on them are going, oh my, oh my. you know, what is going on? We lost internet connection. And I'm not very happy because well, I was doing work. And we needed to get things done. So I called Tech Savvy because I'm with Tech Savvy for my internet. And well, they said they said someone I would uh, to fix it, but they would say about next week. So this was on last Friday, so that would have been, you know, um, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So um, I said I, I'm not going to wait three or four days or more because some stupid mistake Rogers made. I asked them to 
you know, filter my TV, not for some, you know, person to come over and cut my cable connection completely from my house. So I lost my internet connection. I was very upset. <laughs> and I called Tech Savvy. They couldn't do a lot for me, which is, you know, they would have had to contact Rogers and then they would have sent someone out. You know, the whole bureaucracy of it all it takes forever to do it. And um, so I called Rogers. And, you know, um, I guess the uh, conversation is recorded. And I was very angry with them. Uh, you know, throughout the whole fiasco of everything that I do with Rogers, it's so complicated. It is mind frigging boggling with Rogers. Everything is so complicated. It's unbelievable. Can you please cancel my TV? No, sir, we're going to give you this and that, and we're going to charge you fees, and all this rig rigmarole, people making mistakes. No one knows what nobody's doing. You get transferred overseas, talking to some person who can't speak English, then you ask to speak to a supervisor, and then they're not available. It's a whole bunch of nonsense. Um, in any case, I was uh, very upset about losing uh, you know, my internet access. So in any case, the guy came over here, and he cut the cable, and then I called Rogers, and they, you know, I spoke to a higher-up, uh, insisted on a higher-up, and I had to raise my voice to do so. It took some, some, you know, yelling and screaming, unfortunately. Um, I was, I contacted the tech department at Rogers, then they sent me to, they said, no, I can't help you. So then they sent me to the customer service, and then customer service told me, sorry, sir, but we can't help you. You need to speak to the tech department. Of course, similar, all the same crap that I go through with Rogers all the time. Doesn't matter when you call them. You got to take high blood pressure medication just you know to relax. Maybe have a drink before you call Rogers because <laughs> it's stressful. You're transferred all over the place. No one knows nothing about nothing. It's unbelievable. Uh, sorry, sir, we can't help you and all this crap. In any case, thankfully somebody had a clue. They transferred me to you know some higher up, and that person said. Rodney will try and resolve this for you as quickly as possible, and they did. Thank goodness for that. But it took literally 40 minutes on the phone, screaming and yelling, going through department after department at Rogers, trying to figure out uh, what's going on. And today, I got a call from Rogers. I didn't answer it about customer service. I didn't answer it because, well, I didn't want to take up more time talking to someone from Rogers probably not even in this country, about their customer service. And to be honest, they're not going to listen to me anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, anyone who is here in Canada knows about Roger Communications for the most part. Most of them probably feel the same way that I do about them. Uh, it's a love-hate relationship with them. Kind of like, you know, I speak to my friends as well. We've got so many, you know, connections and stuff. You've got, you know, all your, you, you got your phone, you got your... TV, you got your internet, you got everything through Rogers. You kind of feel like you're backed in a corner and you don't have anywhere else to go. Well, you do. You don't have to have any services with Rogers. There's lots of other companies, thankfully, now coming on the market. So that's my rant, again, about Rogers. But you know what? Soon I won't have Rogers. The only thing that I have with Rogers right now is my um, cell phone service. And that's going to be hell, I'm sure for the next three years because I was basically forced into an upgrade recently. I didn't want to and you know again uh, charged me with all the fees and sorry sir you can't do nothing for you you know <laughs> you're an existing customer for God knows how long. She had been with Rogers for decades. It's unbelievable. Slapped you in the face. Doesn't matter. If I leave Rogers and come back though maybe they'll treat me better. I don't know who's running the company or how many people or what kind of monkeys are doing it, I have no idea, but it is a mystery to me. I'm hoping that this video somehow will land on somebody's desk at Rogers, or maybe somebody want you actually work for Rogers, and maybe you can tell a higher up or someone else that you work for what's going on. It's just not me, it's everyone else. Look at the comments below. It's pretty much if you're an existing customer of Rogers and you've been with it for a long time, you get treated like total crap. Doesn't make sense. And I'm sorry to say, but I'll be disconnecting all my services with Rogers. I sound like a broken record, but that's that's how I feel about it. It is, it is unbelievable. So yeah, I've got like I got the the new um, Galaxy Nexus, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and uh, you know. 
I was my ex ten gave up on me, so I got into that kind of contract with them. So now I'm in a, a three year contract with them. But if I win the lottery, <laughs> I won't matter. I'll just pay it up. I go to some other company. It won't matter. But um, or stay with them. I don't know. You know who knows? But if you're a millionaire, it doesn't really matter. But it doesn't lose all that money. But um, but yeah, I, I can just imagine now. Uh, maybe when my 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 nexus died, just you know, that one one day after the year, the warranty, they'll say, uh, Rodney, you know what? They'll give me the middle finger and say, that's too bad for you, son. Too bad for me. Now, even though I'm, I'm an existing customer, and God knows how much money I've given them over the years, but that doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, so yeah, the only thing left is my my cell phone service, and that's it. So there you have it. If you ask. For something simple from Rogers, you won't get it. You'll get a very complicated mishmash of something that will make you extremely upset and totally frustrated and will basically waste your very valuable time. On that note, goodbye.